Hey there, it's Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to learn about compare and contrast essays. So let's get started. Let's review the essay structure first. The first paragraph is your introduction. Your second paragraph, third and fourth, if you have, is your body. And your last paragraph will be the conclusion. This is what it looks like. In your introduction, you're going to put your attention getter, your hook, then your background information, and then finally your thesis. In your body or bodies, you need to emphasize the main point, your topic. Then you need to connect to the thesis, and then you need to conclude your body paragraph or paragraphs. Your last paragraph would be your conclusion. This is where you restate your thesis and you summarize your argument. You can close your conclusion by giving an opinion, a suggestion, or a prediction. Now that we reviewed the essay structure, let's start with today's lesson. Let's take a look at the overview first. To compare is to examine how things are similar, while to contrast is to see how they differ. A compare and contrast essay, therefore, looks at the similarities of two or more objects and the differences. So let's look at how a teacher would ask you to write a compare and contrast essay. So this is uh, the first example. Compare and contrast Newton's ideas of gravity with those proposed by Einstein. Here, the teacher asked you to compare and contrast. So that means you need to write a compare and contrast essay. Whereas on the second example, examine how the economies of Spain and China are similar. Here we have the key word similar. So that means your teacher would like you to write only a compare essay. So now we're going to look at the structure of a compare and contrast essay. We have the block structure and point by point structure. So let's look at them separately. Let's look at the block structure first. All of the information about one of the objects being compared or contrasted is given first. And all the information about the other object is listed afterwards. This type of structure is similar to the block structure used for cause and effect and problem solution essays. This structure is easier to write. So it would look something like this. First paragraph, introduction. Then your body. In your body, you have object one, point one. Object one, point two. Object one, point three. Then you have your transition sentence or transition paragraph. Then you have object two, point one, object two, point two, object two, point three. And then you will have your conclusion, conclusion paragraph. Instead, if you want to write a point by point structure, each similarity or difference for one object is followed immediately by the similarity or difference for the other. This structure is generally clearer as it ensures that the similarities or differences are more explicit. So it would look something like this. The first paragraph, as always, would be your introduction. Then inside your body, you will have your point one with object one, object two. Point two, object one, object two. Point three, object one, object two. Then you will have your conclusion paragraph. When we need to write a compare and contrast essay, we need to know certain structure words. Compare and contrast structure words are transitional signals which show the similarities or differences. Below are some common examples. So for compare, we have similarly, likewise, also, both and, not only but also, neither nor, just like plus noun or noun phrase, 
similar to plus noun or noun phrase to be similar to to be the same as to be alike and to compare to compare with let's look at some examples then computers can be used to communicate easily for example via email similarly or likewise the mobile phone is a convenient tool for communication here we have similarly or likewise so here we compare computers with mobile phones our second example both computers and mobile phones can be used to communicate easily with other people both ends again we are comparing computers and mobile phones third example just like the computer the mobile phone can be used to communicate easily with other people here instead we used just like on our last example the computer is similar to the mobile phone in the way it can be used for easy communication so here we chose to use to be similar to now let's look at contrast structure words so for contrast you will use words such as however in contrast in comparison by comparison on the other hand while whereas but to differ from to be different from to be dissimilar to and to be unlike let's just take a look at some examples computers although increasingly small are not always easy to carry from one place to another however the mobile phone can be carried with ease here we use the structure word however the second example computers are generally not very portable whereas the mobile phone is so whereas here we used it to contrast computers and mobile phones again let's just take a look at the third example computers different from mobile phones in their lack of portability here we chose to use differ from and our last example computers are unlike mobile phones in their lack of portability here we used to be unlike let's just take a look at the criteria for comparison and contrast when making comparisons or contrasts it is important to be clear what criteria you're using study the following example which contrasts two people here the criteria are unclear Aaron is tall and strong in contrast Bruce is handsome and very intelligent although this sentence has a contrast transition in contrast the criteria for contrasting are not the same the criteria used for Aaron are height, which is tall, and strength, strong. We would expect similar criteria to be used for Bruce. Maybe he's short and weak. But instead we have a new criteria, namely appearance, handsome, and intelligence, intelligent. Let's compare the following, which has much clearer criteria. Contrast structure words shown in bold and underline. Aaron and Bruce differ in four ways. The first difference is height. Aaron is tall, while Bruce is short. A second difference is strength. Aaron is strong. In contrast, Bruce is weak. A third difference is appearance. Aaron, who is average looking, differs from Bruce, who is handsome. The final difference is intelligence. Aaron is of average intelligence. Bruce, on the other hand, is very intelligent. So in this paragraph, you can see how we use contrast structure words to show the differences between Aaron and Bruce. So now your turn. Let's practice. Right if the sentences compares or contrasts. Number one, Ella had her hair done in style similar to mine. Number two, that bike is the same color as our car. Number three, I got an A in math and I'm doing well in other classes too. 
Number four, I order steak. However, I was served chicken. Number five, that story resembles one I read a year ago. Number six, Hank is six feet tall. However, his brother is only five feet. Number seven, I eat meat, whereas my parents are vegetarians. Pause your video and write your answers. So now that you have your answers, here's the key. So number one, we use the word similar, so it compares. Number two, we used the word same. Again, it compares. Number three, we used the word two. It compares again. Number four, we use the word however. Here, instead, it contrasts. Number five, we use the word resembles. Again, it compares. Number six, we use the word although. So here, it contrasts. And number seven, we used the word whereas. And here, the sentence contrasts. So that's it for today. If you have any questions about compare and contrast the essay, post your question below this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. If you liked the lesson, hit on the like button, please. And you may share the lesson if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.